Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura and today I am doing a flip through of my poetry journal. I started poetry in the month of November, so I'm going to do a flip of November 1st through November 7th and I have seven different poems that I wrote in here. Um, I have it in a Cheek Sparrow Pocket Plus Fergus notebook and I am using a Dollar Tree insert in here. Um, this is great because it fits very nicely in here and I'm going to do a flip through. I'm going to share with you um, what I learned. Um, it's been 30 years since I've written poetry so bear with me. Uh, my poems are in here uh, as long as well as the directions what of what I was supposed to be doing. So I'm going to flip through the third notebook which is my final version. The second notebook is my um, draft, and this is my final one. So that's the one I'm gonna flip through today. And I'm only gonna go up to day uh, seven. Uh, so that's why I have a piece of paper here to stop. So uh, I've been doing this every day. Uh, I am belong to a poetry uh, group uh, that is sponsored uh, and hosted by Victoria uh, from the Sparrows group. Uh, and that's where I am getting all my lessons from. So, okay, so I'm going to go through this. And share each one. The very first thing I did, the poetry group that I'm, I belong to is called Poetry, poetry Prompts with Victoria. And uh, the first thing that we learned was all these different names of what each uh, word means. So I put the definition throughout my book. Uh, and uh, some of these I don't even know how to pronounce. Uh, like synonym, uh, imager, imagery, uh, metaphor. Uh, and then I put what it meant. And then throughout the whole thing, I've been putting definitions of all the words that I'm trying to learn. So let me get to the prompts. And we started this on November 2nd. Uh, and the first prompt is free verse. So uh, free verse is visualize something and brainstorm. Create a list of things that go with your topic. Pick something you want your poem to be about and put it together and make your free verse poem. So here is my free verse poem and I'm going to read it to you. Here it is here. Okay, so Laura. Laura, she is shy. Introvert is her nature. Social distance is required. Laura, she is creative. Art escapes her, creating colorful rainbows. Laura, she is lonely, frequently needs hugs, wants love and attention. Laura, she is curious, loves to learn new things, develops new skills easily. Laura, she is kind, sometimes too nice. People take advantage. Laura, she is grateful. Her children are a blessing, also has a loving husband. So that was my first poem, free verse poem. On day two, the prompt was found poetry. Take existing texts and refashion them and reorder them and present them as poems. It is often made from newspaper articles, magazines, advertising, street signs, graffiti, speeches, letters, or even other poems. So this is the poem I um, made out of a magazine article. And I'm going to bring it a little bit closer so maybe you can read it while I'm reading it along to you. It says, be mindful, focus on the present, a sense of calm. When things go wrong, pause to think, act in a daily life, meditate, walk, repeat a phrase, be safe, be happy, live and wish. So, and I put a butterfly on the page. Uh, so that's what I made there. And I love this so much that I did more than one. So here is my second poem. And it says, today we Marie Kondo'd Victoria's Closet. So clothing was on my mind. And here is my poem about, about laundry. 
Laundry never ending, like a child. Catch it in places, hampers, stinky, soured for days, wrinkled in baskets, abandoned. Give attention, time, peace of mind. Conquer the laundry, sort, wash, dry, fold, put away. Laundry is not so pretty. Laundry can be left can't be left unattended. And then I got that from the book Sink Reflections by Marla Sillery. So yeah, so that's where I got that one from. The next one, um, I think I just wrote it over again. So here is the same poem. I just typed it out again uh, so it would be easier to read. And that's there. And I used some magazine art to fill up the page. So that's that. Okay. And I also loved it so much that I did another poem this way. And this time I did a little bit of art with magazine arts. And it says, get organized. How bad is it? See for yourself. This is what Tori's closet looked like before we Marie kondo it. It was kind of bad. And then we went and she did it. Uh, come see all that's new. Happiness. Relax and enjoy. One big happy. So here is her closet. And now, after we Marie kondo the whole thing, so we added uh, shoe racks to the bottom. I bought her new hangers that all match. I bought her some bins. You can see the bins on the right here. Uh, and then we also put bins on the very top of the shelf here. So you got to um, see it now. And it looks, we hung up all her shirts. It looks so much better. So we spent the whole day, but uh, the picture is worth happiness and I'm hoping that she manages to keep it um, tidy okay so I also liked it so much I need another one and this one is called country divided and I got this uh, here is my election day thing and I got this from USA Today uh, here is the whole article and I'm gonna take this out here here is the whole article and what I did was I circled all the words and I made a poem out of it after I read it and this is written by Suzette Hackley Hackney uh, so this is what it looks like and I'm gonna read it from my original from here so it's much easier to read okay country divided unite coming together all of us 2020 election United States polarization, hopeless, move forward, find civility, common ground, unity, sanity, answers aren't easy, still don't know Vice President Biden ushered into the White House or President Trump remain office. Now remember I wrote this uh, back in November before the election, November 3rd. Um, fierce discourse, closed ears and hearts, it's not healthy for better or worse, coming together, all of us. Not let politics interfere, friendships. Hard to understand, forget past transgressions. Move forward, eye toward the future. What's best for the country? Hostility, American struggle, fallen American culture. Treat each other, values deteriorate. Our country remembered. Division between people, changing face, fearful, losing. Americans divided, then united, negative interaction, ugly altercation, immigration, racial injustice, COVID-19, America is broken. So that's what I wrote uh, from this article. That's what I got from it. And it came out really cool. So I included this in my book. I'm going to flip. It usually sticks in here. I made a pocket to put that in there. Okay, so now we're on to... Prompt number three, which is personification. Personification. Okay. The attribute of a personal nature or human char characteristics to something non-human or the representation of an ab abstract quality in human form. Write 10 lines, use per personification, free verse, no rhyming. Okay, so this is what I came up with. And here is my craft room. 
and I made a poem about my craft room. So here's my craft room. You can see that I have a new table. This is my old table here. And here is my new table, which I'm filming on right now. Okay, so this past week, my office cried that she needed to be organized. The old table angrily screamed he needed more room. The wallet opened and went shopping. The money left the wallet empty. The boxes refused to move out of the car. It felt like elephants. The screwdriver worked hard for a few hours. The hammer hit the table many times. The new desk was delighted with the added space. The cubes were excited to be filled. The light danced upon the top of the desk. Now the room sparkles with creativity. So that's what I wrote there. And then on the same day, I did another one, and this one is about Daisy. Here, here, here we go, it's called. Uh, Final Destination is the name of the poem, and that's Daisy here in the uh, leaves, and I wrote this little poem about her. Okay, autumn arrived rapidly. The weather appeared to be chilly. Daisy speaks to go outside. The harness snaps around her neck. The door squeaks as it opens. She rushes out the door. The harness pulled tight around the, her torso. The leash pulled snug around among her body. She struts down the winding road. The leaves danced among the grass. The wind howled and blew. She poses for some photos. She knows she's not going home. She refuses to get into the car. The seatbelt imprisoned her to the seat. The final destination was the groomer. So, yeah. Okay, so prompt number four. Two poems today, a free verse. So one was about, you had to write a free verse about quiet, and then you had to write a free verse about a puzzle. So here is my quiet poem. As I wake up this morning, the house is quiet, except for the humming of the fan. Daisy knows I'm awake. She is anxious to get up on the bed. Once on top of the bed, she snuggles against me. She taps me with her paw, indicating she wants to be petted. She rolls herself into a ball. She closes her eyes and goes back to sleep. Peaceful, I wonder. School is closed today, I ponder. Will I see my children more? I need hugs. It's still early. I'm going back to sleep. I'm tired. So that, that was written on November 5th. Okay, puzzle. Oop, I skipped the page. Uh, where is my puzzle? It is stuck. Okay, here's my puzzle. <laughs> okay, when I think of a puzzle, I feel anxiety. It took me forever to write this poem. It reminded me of chaos. Back when my children were little, the pieces were always everywhere, always missing anxiety. I find them to be trash. I always threw them away. When I worked in the elementary school, the pieces were all over the classroom. It gave me anxiety to clean it up. Trash, I say. They are trash. So, yeah. Okay, so the next poem, the next prompt is uh, prompt number five, and it's Lime Rick. It's a five lines. Establish the rhythm. Lines one, two, and five rhyme. Seven to ten syllables. Lines three and four share rhyme, five to seven syllables. The count will be A-A-B-B-A. -B -B -A. It's a joke, establishment character, put in a situation, run situation out of control, resolve with the punchline. So here is my first one here, and this was a sticker that I had in my stash that made me write this poem. So here is my poem. Uh, make sure I'm in in this can you see it okay uh the cactus was reading a book he sat in his pod on the brook then his glasses fell off he developed a cough he caught COVID-19 and shook read is the next poem the cactus wanted to read but first he did a good deed he wore glasses to see when the bird hit a tree he squashed a small centipede so I put a little centipede on the bottom. So I thought that was really cute. It was fun to write those. Okay, uh, I wrote another one. 
I wrote two other ones, so I'm going to turn the page. So here are two other ones because I thought they were so front and bright. So this is another sticker that I had in my stash, and I wanted to write about this sticker. So there once was a monkey named Belle. She was old with this nasty smell. Oh, body odor was the cause. She didn't wash her paws. The aroma would cast a spell. P.U. I wrote. Okay, so the next one is about this little character, another sticker I found in my stash. So at least I'm not hoarding them anymore. So here is my poem about this mouse. There was a mouse named Casey. Her clothing was very lacy. It was a pink tutu -tu, and she danced until two. She was a little bit spacey. So that's what I wrote about Casey. Okay, so... The next one is another Limerick, I, I believe. Another Limerick. Okay. So here's another one, but I did not put anything on it. So here is my little, I think that's a Limerick. All right. Don't quit. When things go wrong, as they sometimes will, when the road you're trudging seems all uphill, when the funds are low and the debts are high and you want to smile but you have to sigh. When care is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must, don't, but don't you quit. Life is strange with this twists and turns as every one of us sometimes learns and many a failure comes about when he might have won had he stuck it out. Don't give up through the pace seems slow you may succeed with another blow success is failure turned inside out the silver tint of the clouds of the doubt and you never can tell just how close you are it may be near when it seems so far so stick to the fight when your heart is hit it's when things seem worse that you must not quit for all the sad words of tongue or, or pen, the saddest are these it might have been. And that was written by John Greenleaf Whittier. So I did not uh, write that. I think it was, we had to put our favorite poem in there. So that was that one. Okay, so prompt number seven, which is the last one I'm going to do today. Uh, prompt number seven is extended metaphor. A metaphor that is developed in great detail, the amount of detail can vary from that of a sentence or a paragraph to encompassing an entire work. In an extended metaphor, the author takes a single metaphor and employs it at length using various subjects, images, ideas, and situations. They are commonly used in poetry songs as well as praise. Free verse, use extended metaphor, favorite humans in your life. So this is what I wrote. Here is my poem. Um, I went with my family is my universe. So here is what I wrote on November 8th. My husband, Evan, is the universe. He's full of life. He's strong and funny, works long hours, and he manages to hold us all together. Without him, we would all be lost in space. My daughter, Victoria, is the moon. She's quite quiet and sneaky and gives us the most worry. She likes to surprise us as you never know what will happen each day. She keeps us, as, keeps us on our toes. My son, Justin, is the sun. His presence brightens up the room. He's tall and lovable and he's always willing to help out. He will make someone a great husband in the future. My daughter, Naomi, is the star. She's very creative, likes to get her way, but also her presence shines when she's in the room. She will succeed in whatever she chooses to do. Daisy, our dog, is the sky. She loves to give us kisses, yet she also loves to play hide and seek. Without her, our life would be so depressing. I am the air binding us all together. I take up space, but I try to radiate sparkles of positive thoughts and love when we are all together. My family is my universe. They are the reason I wake up each day. So that is it for today because the next page is the next prompt and I will do that in another video. 
thank you for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I gave you some inspiration to write some poetry. It was a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of fun every day. And um, I will see you in another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.